Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with our tropical franchise mode series. And man, oh, this butterfly dome is just so beautiful. It really brings me back into these tropical vibes. But before we jump into it, in case you missed out on the last Steam sale, don't be sad because our channel is sponsored by Instant Gaming. And at Instant Gaming, they always have a great sale on many of your most favorite games like Planet. Do, the Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, Farming Simulator, and so many other amazing games. And by buying via the website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. So yeah, I do remember in the previous episode that we had like a lot of these butterflies right here in the uh, exhibit trading center the animal storage and i actually do not know or remember if we already did that during the episode or i did that later on but i did make sure to set up like my management right over here to make sure that all the animals oh no it's not wait eh? is it oh wait there's probably no cloudless sulfur in here it's probably the european peacock yeah and then sell for cash right away so that is definitely the way to go for for these butterflies because else you will have so many in your your storage and and you will have to sell them all by yourself so uh, this is how we are going to do it and i feel like this is just this is just an amazing addition to a tropical franchise series i absolutely love it so much wait is there a tour coming in here oh there is okay because I was curious, like we did set up this tour and uh, it's just so freaking bugged still. It's insane. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to be uh, looking at the tour too much in this series as long as we do not get any like weird messages or anything. But I was just curious, like do these guests actually also donate when they do the tour? I, I know that someone did say that they, they do. But I am just not entirely sure about that. I have not seen them throwing in money in any of the donation box. So I'm just curious, like as soon as he is done, is he, are these guests going to put money in this donation box or not? I really, really wonder. Ah, uh, it is cute. But still, I do like the animation more of like guests standing with their finger and then the uh, uh wait are you going to start again no i guess not but i like the animation more with the guests standing with their finger up even though it, it's like always the same i wish there was a little bit more variation into that but um if we just open this tour real quick like we have a tour fee of five like few the tour rating i think that everyone agrees everyone that is trying to play around with this the guest well-being just stays at this one star and uh, I don't know, but I feel like it's bugged. Like, what else can you do than, like, like should you have, like, one animal talk and then an intermission, one animal talk and then an intermission or something like that? I really wonder if that is the case. Okay, so these guests are now leaving. And are they going to throw in some money in here? This is the group. I don't... Wait, was that, like, the group? That Yeah, okay, wait, wait. These are following... Are they, they following... This is... They are following... I'm not entirely sure which group it was. They are not following the tour guide. So I'm not entirely sure if these guests that do tours, if they also donate. Like, I can imagine that maybe... The fee that they pay replaces the amount they donate to animals. I really don't know. If you guys have really seen them donating, like the people that are following the tour guide, do let me know in the comments down below because I am definitely really curious. And also, if you have found the fix for the fact that this this tour rating has like a one star guest well being and the tour rating is like half a star, I mean. Well, it doesn't even make sense because like if you would take like the average of all of these four 
surely this would not be half a star. So uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just super weird. I really have no idea what is going on here. I really was hoping that Frontier would have fixed this by now or that it would make a lot more sense. I, I cannot imagine that you want to have your guest going to an intermission point like after every habitat talk or, or animal talk. It doesn't make any sense to me. However, okay, let's uh, enough about the tours. Our zoo reputation is doing pretty well. Like this is really not bad. It's looking really good. So I'm really happy with that. I do want to check here because our guest happiness is actually also not bad. It's a 77%, but thirst is definitely a thing we could work on and education is also a thing. There are also guests here complaining about some litter. So maybe that does mean that we should hire maybe a few more caretakers. Like how many caretakers do we have right now? We have quite a lot of caretakers, but right. If there are guests complaining about litter, well, maybe we should. Uh, oh, I cannot put you here because of the exhibit. Maybe we should like make some smaller uh, work zones for these guys. Maybe that uh, could be helpful, but for now, I'm just going to put these guys all in the everything work roster and we're gonna look into that later on. So if we go back right over here, like we have uh, a loan still, so we have, <laughs> what did you say? We have so many, like when I started recording, I think it was like 34,000 or something like that. Uh, but I am going to repay this one because I feel like we are pretty like we are, are are paying a lot of interest so i feel like just getting rid of this loan is the best thing to do we should not well we have two things of marketing right i think i'm just going to stop you for just a little bit until we have a little bit more money that does mean that our zoo reputation will go down a little bit but it actually you can barely tell it went down but it is the marketing definitely but we can easily just get back to that if we just check the crime real quick, we can just replace a few of these uh, bins and stuff. There's nothing really special going on right over here. If we then go to staff, I wanted to change some staff room perks. So staff healthcare maybe. And right over here, let's go for... Hmm, which one shall we do? Let's go for this one. Okay, that is all being set right now. I also just wanted to check the staff in general. Like we have one with a very high workload right over here, like a, one of the newer vets. So I feel like training that one should be good. We can train that one. You are also having a very high workload. So you guys should also be trained. And how about you? Okay, you are also new. You are new, so you guys are just not able to handle it all. And there is one vendor right over here. One more vendor right over here. And one more right over here. Which is fine. I feel like if we just do it only for a few of these staff members, it's not going to cost us too much money. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, and then I also want to check the vat research because I had one vat doing, I think, the European peacock research. But we still have, like, a lot of the exhibits animal and, oh, oh, we also have a lot of the other butterflies. So let's just make sure that we're going to do the research for all the other butterflies. There is, like, two exhibit animals right over here that also need some research, but I feel like the butterflies are more important for me. But like the, uh, the, the enrichment items for, I think the enrichment items are already all unlocked because of one butterfly. So it doesn't really matter too much, but it's definitely good for an educational rating in our zoo. Let's get out of the dome right over here because gosh, we have so much going on. We have so many habitats in here. Maybe, <laughs> I'm just not entirely sure, but it could be. Yeah, uh, that was that is something I was afraid for. I had every all the alert settings turned off. How about our animal settings? Mm, shall we make it a full maybe? Okay, let's do that. I have no idea how our animals are doing because I did just did not get any notifications. Uh, wait, animals adopted for cash cannot be automatically released. Yes. Okay. Sure. I don't mind. But do we get that message, like, all the time now? 
Ah, uh, store and trading set. Oh, wait. Is that this one? Then we should go for the European Peacock. Uh, I don't mind to keep them, but... Um, mm. Oh, sell for cash. Sell for cash. And what are their butterfly? I think it's the monarch that is also in here. But I, I think, yeah, okay, release in a while. Maybe just put them all on sell for cash first. Like, release in a while is also good for your zoo reputation, right? But I feel like if we just put them on sell for cash first, and then if we have, like, a complete generation that is all coming from our zoo, I think then is the time to just change it to release to the wild sometimes for some of the butterflies. Oh, that's right. There was, like, a challenge right over here. Release nine greater flamingos into the wild. So I was like, you know what? We could actually maybe refresh our uh, flamingos in here a little bit. We have a lot of flamingos in here that have contraceptive. So I feel like maybe we should just go in here real quick and then just select the greater flamingo from here. And then put them all... Look, we have quite some old ones. Are we able to, like, release them in the wild? No, we are not. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, well, there are some appearing. So if I just go for like all the uh, flamingos that have contraceptives right now, I'm not entirely sure if this is enough. I'm just going to select them all. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> is it smart to do? Me just not thinking and just doing this and selecting it. Okay, release in the wild. How many are we going to release in the wild? I cannot see. Is that enough? Let's just see. Oh, yes, it was enough. It was 11 out of 9. Uh, so that is just perfect. Do we now have a good group here of flamingos? Are they happy with the amount of animals in here? No, they're not. But it's not bad to just maybe get... Okay, let, let's check the Zoopedia real quick here. Flamingo and see how many... A minimum of 10... Okay, so we now have seven in here, so we should just get three more flamingos, which is totally fine. Uh, you guys just go and breed ahead and make sure that we get the right amount of females and males in here. It would be really nice to have like this, this habitat management in here as well for some of the animals. I can't, can't imagine that it doesn't really work super well for all the animals, but I feel like it's definitely something that could work. Especially when, like, having just a breeding zoo or something. I think that could definitely help out with that. What do we have here? We have a Shavalski's horse being, like, super injured. Why is that? Oh, and you're an elderly. Wait. What, wait. Do we have... Oh, we probably have too many in here. I mean, there are so many horses. I would not be surprised. Injured, injured. Okay, so what can we do? We have two females that are injured. If we put these, we, we can't do anything with them because they are injured. Oh, that's right. I need to put them back in here and make sure they are cured first before I put them in the training center or anything. Why are you also injured? What is going on? Oh gosh, no. Oh wait, yes. Okay, we have uh, a lot of adult males in here, which is just not good. Okay, wait, I'm gonna... Chino, I feel like you are getting too old. So if we... Can we release these three in the wild? Yes, we can. This should already help. Because, yeah, I think that this is already a good balance. Like, I did not pay attention too much about what is inbreeding or not. But I feel like we can work with this, actually. So this, sh this should be okay. And then these... Oh, there's already a vet walking around. So this vat is going to help <laughs> cure these poor Zhivalski's whores, man. I forgot for a bit how beautiful you guys are. They are so amazing, aren't they? Gosh, definitely one of the most beautiful animals of the game. Not say my favorite animals, but definitely one of the most beautiful animals they made. Oh man, but this habitat. Ah, let me, let's, let's go back to my favorite spot just for a second. Can you tell why? I <laughs> just so much love this spot. It's just so gorgeous. It really, really is. 
Right, enough talking. We have a habitat here that is just too small for these elephants. Uh, well, it's not per se, it's a little bit uh, boring and plain in my opinion. The, the edge is not. The edges are, are oh, come on, bye tree. <laughs> the edge looks really cord over here, but there are definitely needs some work to be done inside of this habitat and we need to extend it because that was the original plan. This habitat is inspired of the new elephant habitat of Artisu in Amsterdam. So uh, yes, for those of you that are Dutch as well or have visited that zoo know that that new habitat is actually a lot bigger. So it's, it's I'm not really sure, I did draw out like something right over here I feel like it actually should go a little bit to here but um, like we we want to wrap up this series in not a too long time from now so yeah it's going to be inspired of that habitat not recreated but it's going to have like a cool water section with like a path going through it maybe this was the path I really have no idea anymore but yeah we're going to extend the uh, Indian elephant habitat in here because we can and we must do that for these beautiful animals and I think it's going to look pretty neat once they have a lot more space it's also going to have a little opening right over here and then these doors are going to be open as well and they're gonna have a, gonna get like this really nice pool for them to enjoy some playtime in the water so yeah without further talking let's just go and start building and give these animals the habitat that they deserve
gosh, I always forget how much time goes into like a big habitat, for example, for like elephants. Like, oh man. But、uh, yeah, we are almost there.、Uh, it's not completely finished yet, but we are definitely having a bigger habitat now for these beautiful, gorgeous elephants. So I did. Add like I found like it was so plain in this habitat, so I did add like a lot of the grass and stuff in here. I did move a few of the enrichment items, but not all, to the、uh, other side of the habitat. But this already definitely feels like an improvement, even though I did only add some grass in here and like、uh, did paint a little bit of the terrain. That is basically it. So what way shall we go? Let's just go here. These shops right over here, the、uh, the shops are moved now to、uh, a backside area where hopefully some guests will also go. So、uh, this is the other area for the Indian elephants, and this is definitely giving them like a lot more space. So you can tell here that it's definitely in the green. So we also did make sure that the animals do not have any contraceptives anymore, so they are able. To reproduce again and bring in some more elephant babies because that is just the cutest thing ever. So、uh, this is、uh, now the entrance. I did say that I wanted to open this up, but when I was building, I felt like no, I'm just going to keep it like this. So we now have a connection going through this shelter building right over here. I still need to work a little bit on that shelter building on the inside as well, but. You will tell. You will see later on that there's a lot of work to do still on the other side. Look at the little one, by the way. Oh my goodness, you are so adorable. <laughs> I just love the the, the difference、uh, in in the height. Like this is the male, this is a female, and then this is a little baby. I don't know. It's just super adorable for some reason. But <laughs> the male is just so huge. But yeah, we can go around here. Like as I mentioned before, we started building. This is definitely inspired a lot of the artist new the new artist zoo elephant habitat in Amsterdam. So、uh, I, I did take like this this rock formation. I'm not entirely sure anymore what that needs to resemble. I, for some reason, it feels like it's some kind of chalk rock formation. But Correct me if I'm wrong. It's it's really me now guessing in the open. Like I don't know, <laughs> but guests can definitely walk all the way around here. I did that in real life, and it was quite a walk. <laughs> so this feels super realistic to me. Even though this is definitely not like a one-on-one -on -one recreation, I did use a lot of inspiration of this habitat. But it is also a little bit of my own, I guess.、Uh, so we have a little viewing gallery right over here. And、uh, of course, the elephants can can walk through here, and、uh, there is like this opening in real life as well. And I I'm not sure if that is the reason, but it kind of feels like imagine like being a keeper and like the elephants become mad or anything like that. So so a keeper could like safely hide in here because the elephants can't reach it. I'm not sure if that is the case, but I just found it interesting that there was like this little opening where obviously a little elephant cannot fit through, and especially not the biggest one. Just look at the little one. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. So yes, okay, we can go around here. Guests can obviously take a rest right over here. There's a lot of education and stuff hidden into the ground and into the rocks. So hopefully that is going to help. With the educational rating about the Indian elephants, we have some mud pools in here. I like it that we have them. I love the animations in the mud pools, but the only thing I don't like is is the color. Like obviously, yeah, it's 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 mud, but like it could be for me also in like a tropical biome, more browner mud instead of like this this orange bright color. So I'm not entirely happy with. How the contrast looks in the grass, but it is what it is. We have some、uh, fun mud pools right over here for them to enjoy as well. And then we walk around here. This is basically the main feature, but also、uh, not entirely finished yet. But this is definitely inspired of the real life zoo. You have like this path 
going down a little bit. I, I don't think they have these underwater viewings, but I just really did like the idea of that. So the guests can pretty much see the elephants on eye level and, and if they're swimming. They actually don't have this in real life because in real life, there would be like this, this safety fence underneath the water to make sure that the elephants would not be able to, to come closer to the edge right over here. I think something like that is in real life. So yeah, they, they don't really have that, but in Planet Zoo, we don't have to worry about that. But look how beautiful this all looks. I think it looks really cool here with the water. I doubt it will be super busy. Maybe I should like hide uh, an, a vista point or something like that in here. That will be just uh, just amazing. That would work super well. You know what? We're just going to do that right away. So uh, my money <laughs> was quite a thing because the money uh, was going down a lot. I just repaid the, the the loans that I had and then boom, I had to take some loans. Oh, I can't hide you there. Okay, I'm going to put you down right over here. So then I had to take loans again. <laughs> I'm already uh, back to almost being able to, to repay that last loan, but I had to put up like the amount of gas. So it was like a maximum of uh, 2,500 and now it is 3,000. I did add a little bit of a, a marketing campaign back in here. And I did also lower a lot of the uh, food grades here just to make sure that we are able to, to earn some, some money back again. And regarding staff, I did hire them and now I, I fired them again. So I did fire a lot of staff because my money was down so, going down so quickly at some point. I just had to. It's funny how you always need to try to find the right balance to uh, to earn some money and then you're like, oh, I have so much money and I'm starting uh, to spend it all again. And then you're back at square one. <laughs> That's basically how my whole series is going at this point. But it is what it is. We have a nice water area here for the elephants and then like the little ones probably have a bit more space to even enjoy. And they are just able to... Oh, wait, wait, heat maps. Yes, there I want to go to. And they are just able to, like, walk around here everywhere. So, uh, yeah. I am just super happy with how this habitat has turned out. But I'm not entirely sure yet what I want to do at this area. So here we have the two information stands. It's actually a lot less busy than it was on the other side. But there are some guests walking here, so I feel like, like I didn't want to. Oh, we have some uh, flamingos getting offspring. I, I didn't want to add another animal in here, but I feel like maybe we actually should add an extra animal in here. So this is also going to attract more people to this particular area. And then I still have some time to think how I want to do this. Like there is this indoor shelter right over here there are not that many elephants using this particular area but they do have the shelter so that's good but we might want to like make a, a viewing gallery inside of here so closes off <laughs> at the roof and then have like a big glass window right over here but it's not that much space so that's why I'm, I'm, I have my doubts maybe we should just make something fake out of it instead not per se usable or we open up this uh this this wall right over here the white wall and i make windows in this round shaped wall right over here then close it off on the roof and then have like this this whole big viewing gallery inside of their shelter something like that i'm just not entirely sure yet Anyway, so we have some shops right over here. We have a Vista Point, which I feel like these guests are all... Go yeah, see? They are heading to this Vista Point, and, and that is going to make sure that there are more guests here. You know what? Then I actually... Oh, gosh, we have protesters? You're kidding. Animal is starving? What the heck is that? Okay, I'm going to add one more Vista Point, change the focal point to the mud pool or something. Okay. We have one more Vista Point right over here, which is hopefully going to help us. Uh, wait, what? There are five alerts in here. These guys are hungry. Oh, gosh, yes, that is correct. I did 
I did not fire a keeper here. <gasps> Yes, okay, that's the issue. There were, like, like the, the Indian Elephant roster was in the Siamang roster. So what happened was that, let's see, we have the Siamang... Siamang had three keepers in one habitat. So I thought, oh yeah, then I need to make sure that we just have a different Indian Elephant... There we go, Elephant Habitat... Rook roster and then make sure that we have two keepers in there because we definitely need two keepers to tend that habitat, but the tasks were not good. So, okay, now I see why the Siamangs are super hungry because that keeper did not have all the things to do in their rook roster. So, okay, then I need to just make sure a keeper requested, maybe a vet even? Just to be sure you are going to run. There's a keeper's hut right over here. So it should not take long before you are going to bring some food in this habitat. I can't believe like it's it's been taking so long. But we are slowly getting our Siamang family. We have four. No, we have two little ones in here. And one that grew up. Wait, do we not have to make sure? You are like the baby off, are you not? Uh, wait, oh, here we need to look. Yes, the parents, so you need probably some contraceptives. Maybe it's smart to just do that. How many enrichment items do we have for food? We have this rolling barrel feeder. We have this one. Is this one reachable? Accessible, yes, this one is accessible. That one is accessible. Is there anything else with food on the other side? There's some water here. But I do feel like maybe since, since the family is growing, that we maybe should add... Oh no, okay, gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm going to add this one on the back side right over here. Please do not... Um, okay, it's, it wasn't that bad, I guess, so... Oh, wait, no, it was. Oh, I hate it when that happens. There's like this weird, weird rock now right over here. It's all, <laughs> it's all floating in the air now. Gosh, what did I do? I hate it when that happens. Like you always need to correct your habitat for just these enrichment items. Okay, wait, can we just smooth that? Smoothie smooth? No, that's because of the water. Is this all? No, this also needs to be raised a little bit. Else it will look super funny and super weird if we keep it like this. But I feel like we are already there. It wasn't too much. But yeah, it's just annoying when it happens, I guess. Okay, so you already did bring some food in here. Oh, wait, there is actually a feeding plate right over here. Well, perfect. Like, they are not starving anymore. And that is like the most important thing. Look at you. But yeah, they, they have like cheaper food now. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we, we are earning quite some money now. So maybe we can even repay our loan. Oh no, that's the 50, the 50k one. So that's not going to help. Uh, animal welfare has attracted... Yeah, the last meal quality is low now, but they have a 94 welfare. So I'm not too worried about that. Just going to remove all these alerts right over here. And the protesters should all be gone now as well. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh, we just need to make sure that all the buildings now are in the everything work roster, I guess. Maybe I did not do that exactly. So we go to the everything work roster. Look, there might be some buildings on the side at least. I think we do not need to add the staff buildings in there. So I'm just going to do it like so. Perfect. Oh gosh, yeah. You know what I just did now? I added probably the tour in the Everything Work roster as well, which I'm not really sure if I want to because the, the tours are just so broken. I got like a lot of messages here again. Oh, accessible research center. Well, that's that, that is fine. We don't need that much research anymore, don't we? Feeny Station cannot be reached. Is that the, Yeah, well, that's probably the new one. Look, Monarch, Blue Morpho, Swallowtail. Perfect. That's fine. You guys just do what you need to do and, and just wait for each other, okay? I think that's going to be fine. 
Okay, so this one that I did not, that, that I just added is accessible. Finishers cannot be reached by the keepers. What is that? Like, why not? There is a, there is a way for you to go here. So, you know what? I'm just going to keep it like this. Uh, you just make sure that you are able to reach that. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, man. I love this habitat so much. It's so cool. I hope they are going... Yes, there we go. I was about to say, I hope they're going to swing. Oh, man. Yes, it's awesome. And it's so awesome that we have more Siamax in here now. It's not going super fast, but it is working and I'm just super happy with that. But yeah, the elephant habitat, something we had to uh, work on for a very long time. I'm so happy that I did, even though it always takes tons of time. <gasps> Are you actually covered by like this, this water treatment? Yeah, I think so. I think I made sure of that. Right over here, yes. Okay, Whew, perfect. Oh no, wait, wait, oh no. Okay, we have money. So I'm just go. oh, there is electricity right over here. I'm just going to add a water treatment right next to it because obviously we need to make sure that these elephants will get clean water on both sides and not only, oh wait, shoot, now I need to add you in the work roster as well. Oh, we have some research. Oh gosh, so much going on. Okay, I'm going to add you in the everything work roster. So we make sure that our mechanics are able to reach that. But yeah, I'm definitely super happy with this new area for the elephants. We still need to work a lot on the other side. But I think, I think we, uh, we definitely have improved their habitat. And this just for these beautiful animals in here. Gosh, you are so beautiful. But yeah, do let me know, of course, what you guys all think of this new area for the Indian elephants. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.